A federal grand jury has issued a surprising indictment against a former Georgia insurance commissioner, John Oxendine, on charges of conspiracy to commit health care fraud. The indictment also alleges Oxendine committed conspiracy to commit money laundering. Fox 5 senior I team reporter Dale Russell was the only reporter in court when Oxendine pleaded not guilty to the charges. Dale is live at the federal courthouse. Dale. And Courtney, as you know, the name Oxendine has just been so powerful in the state for decades. John Oxendine's father was a prominent Gwinnett County judge. John Oxendine himself had four terms as insurance commissioner and then ran for governor. He lost to Nathan Deal. But now, after years of public service, he's in for the fight of his life. Hi. John Oxendine left federal courthouse with a big smile just an hour and a half after pleading not guilty in federal court to conspiracy to commit health care fraud and money laundering. 100% innocent. 100% innocent. His attorney, Drew Finling, says he and Oxendine are already preparing their defense of the surprising indictment that followed Oxendine's long career in public service. He was a public servant uh, for a sustained period of time and dedicated a good part of his life to the citizens of Georgia. John Oxendine was in his 30s when he burst onto the Georgia political scene. He was elected Georgia's insurance commissioner four consecutive terms and then in 2010 ran for governor. Hey there, how are you? But he would finish fourth in the Republican primary. Nathan Deal won the primary race in a runoff and later was elected governor. That run for governor led to the two ethics complaints Oxendine has battled for years. In 2010, the commission accused Oxendine of illegally spending nearly $100,000 in campaign donations on a home down payment, fancy cars, and child care expenses. Commissioners, the parties have reached an agreement for a consent order. Then just last week, the ethics commission settled the long-running case. Oxendine agreed to shut down his campaign account and give the remaining $120,000 in campaign donations to the state. And my client is pleased with the result because um, all of the allegations that have been asserted against him over the past 13 years have now been dismissed. That Mr. Oxendine conspired to obtain kickbacks for unnecessary lab tests. U.S. Attorney Ryan Buchanan spelled out how Oxendine now faces far more serious allegations. The indictment, dated May 17th, alleges Oxendine, a local doctor and a Texas lab company, concocted a scheme to submit unnecessary lab tests to various insurance companies. The insurance companies paid over $600,000 to the lab company as a result of these claims. Buchanan said the lab company paid $260,000 to one of Oxendine's businesses. Some of the money went to the doctor. Oxendine got the rest, said the U.S. attorney. Patients go to health care providers for treatment with the expectation that their treatment or their testing is necessary, not that it's a scam for fraud. Outside the courthouse, Drew Finling told the I-team that he feels the government has targeted Oxendine. The city plans on zealously defending. Um, believing that he is really being targeted with this, with this charge and this indictment and these accusations um, because of who he is. Well, why would they go after him because of who he is? Well, I think we're just going to find out as we start looking at the facts of the case and all the legal issues involved. During Oxendine's first appearance in court, Judge Catherine Salinas released him on a signature bond and said he could continue to travel for his job as an attorney. She also let him take a planned family vacation to Greece in July, but he has to turn in his passport afterwards. The whole point is, are you coming back to court? That's all that matters, and he's coming back to court. And after Attorney Drew Finling left, he later sent me an email reiterating what he had said to us earlier, that he believes John Oxendine has been targeted by the government for quoting now his name and his gravitas and insisting that he's innocent. We'll find out as this case unfolds here at federal court over the next few months. Reporting live from federal courthouse, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.